Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club for at Second Swing. We're out at Les Bolstead today playing a match. I'll be playing the forward tees. Thomas will be playing the tips. Uh, we're obviously, our games vary because you know, he's a very good professional player. I'm a uh, 3.5 handicap as of this very minute. But um, we're at Les Bolstead. We've played out here before on YouTube. And Thomas, as of right now, is the new course record holder here at Les Bolstead Golf Course. So I'm a little intimidated. But um, what do you think we'll see today, Thomas, uh, you know, with the differences in tees here? Yeah, last week I was out here playing just kind of casually, and I shot a smooth 62. Yeah. Uh, so decided I'd give you a little head start. So I'll put you up on the front tees, I'll play on the back tees, and let's just play match play. Let's just play match play okay. against each other per hole and see who ends up up after nine holes. All right, I'm, uh, I'm excited, but also nervous and scared. So uh, let's get after it here. Let's do it. Cut, cut. Eh, might be okay. Might be a little bit left in the trees though. You let him play the gold? Letting him play the gold, yeah. He's gonna beat me from the golds. Hey, I need an advantage. It's like 280 yards, isn't it? It's probably 300 from here. Okay. Yeah. Well, the driver's probably not the play here, but too late. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, there's a little bit of thick rough over on the right side. Hopefully we find it. Somewhere between those two drives would have been good. <laughs> Good cart golf. Time to search. We got a stopwatch. Here, oh, we're just right here. Look at that. Do you get relief from this guy? I do if it's impeding my my. Uh, I think it is. My swing there a little bit. That's dumb. A little free relief right away. I'll I'll take. I mean, I'm in trouble here, but this is very unnatural. This sign, cross country sign. No, it's that's not part it's of the definitely golf it. No, it definitely qualifies as free release. Since it's match play and you brought it up, I'll take the relief. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's see if it's actually interfering with my swing or not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a little bit. All right. Problem is though, my nearest point might still be in this stuff. So I got a club length from there. Let's drop from the knees. Yikes. That'd be pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good from there. Just back right of the green. Looks like you just got a little bit of a gap. You hitting a 60 up over the tree? Yeah, I got my 58. I'll try and loft it up, but you know. A little thin. Get down. Is that too far? Oh, that's all right. All right. We're on. We're on the green. That'll, that'll. Ooh. All right. Lag putt from match play. Yeah, that's uh, a little bit better than I did. I'm gonna bid. It's right in the center, too. Right in the heart. Drew, that was a gift. I like gifts, though. Well, one up. According to the scorecard, this is a 50 yard difference between the maroon tees and the gold tees. Well, I have 180. Kind of in between clubs here, I got 179, so I've kind of backed up a club length back from the tees to try and hit a little softer one in. Pretty so, good. Yeah, it was just in between clubs, just over. You had what, 180? I had 180, yeah. Yeah, yep. 143. That's a decent advantage. It is. Be far enough. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Just a little, little, little bit heavy. fat. Yeah. You're all putting. A lot of leg putt. This guy is gonna move to the left. a little bit more. Right. Told you. Oh, left some room there. Should have done better than that one. It was a sticky shot. Sticky, that's a good word for that. Well, I gave one back to him, of course, on that, that one. That one's good. 
<laughs> That's good. Ah. Yeah, that's perfect. I love this T-Bowl. <laughs> Gosh. That's really good there. I think that's the I think line that's I like left, at, left side of the fairway. All right. You hit it solid? Little bit low on the face. Low. Okay. This is the Callaway uh, PM Grind, 60 degree. I'm just trying to open the face up a little bit and clip this to try and have it land and, and check out pretty closely by the flag. Go a little bit. Ah, pretty good. I'd like to give Thomas something to think about on that putt. That's not far enough, is it? That was a good shot. All right. Got that one back. Got my work cut out for me. Very nice. Seventy six yards. It's pretty much my uh, a nine o'clock, 60 degree wedge. Shouldn't be too far away. All right, I got a little bit of a chip shot here. I'm not super comfortable putting on fringe, so I'm gonna chip it. Kind of a similar shot to the one I hit last, a little bit of a bump and run that kind of checks up and hopefully rolls close or into the hole. A little short. All right, got like five feet. Ooh. It's a little hard. I was gonna say, it might be outside of the circle of friendship there. I think we both are. Oh yeah, well I certainly am. Mm. Very good. Another ah. gift. Another gift, I'm just, you know what? Just trying to build my before you for getting the course record here, so I'm just being nice. <laughs> All right, we are four holes in, and Thomas is already three up on me. Uh, I've been giving some shots away with the short game, um, but I mean, in terms of the difference in the teaser, has it been anything huge yet? Um, and if there has been, I haven't taken advantage of it. So yeah, it's more. It seems like it's more on the par threes, and even yeah. here, it's it's not that too far apart here. Mm -hmm. But it, it's. It's a shorter length, but sometimes playing a course shorter yeah. actually plays away from your strength in your game. Mm -hmm. So you might have different yardages that you're kind of used to playing there too. Yeah, I was actually unsure with on hole four would even hit out the tee because I there was that bunker up there. I know it's like three twenty plus to get there, so it would have been a bomb. But um, I just wasn't comfortable ripping at that, so I took three wood. But I'm certainly giving you some shots on the green, so I'm still getting used to this uh, this new putter I got in my bag. Yeah, uh, tell me about the putter. So I, what I know about that putter is it's heavier. Yeah. So it seems like to me you're hitting it through the break. It seems that yeah. heavier mallet style putter is causing the ball to take off faster. Yeah, we it is that something. On the, we noticed that on the first first hole too. Yeah, you hit it kind of yeah. 15 feet past. Yeah. That's that extra mass behind it is going to cause that mm -hmm. ball to roll a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, it's just a little bit more, I guess, pop in that one than I'm used to. But um, you know what? We got hole. We got golf to play. Uh, I got. Uh, I have some birdie holes out there. We both do, but uh, I got some birdie holes I got to take advantage of, so I'll make this a match. Yeah, just, just work on that speed a little bit more, and I think you'll be right. I got 149. 165, kind of a back flag. You do not want to go over the screen. I'm going to take a little step back again, and I'm going to hit a 9-iron that I know that I cannot hit over the green with. So I'm hitting more towards the middle of the green. Better get down. Sit, sit. All right. Not even that's short. Right. Sit a little bit. Sit a little bit. Oh man.
Whew. Oh. That was good. That was rough. Thomas, we're not doing so hot. Um, at least I'm not. Um, when you're playing, competing professionally, you know, in tournaments, if you're off to a slow start, whatever, how do you mentally and, I mean, how do you get out of that? Yeah, I think you've just got to, you've got to find a way to stay patient. Remind yourself, you know, we've, we've played five holes. I think I'm like one over through, one over through five holes. Yeah. Um, just think about the next shot at hand and just stay patient is what it comes down to. I, uh, you've got to remind yourself there's still plenty of birdies on the golf course. You're not going to hit perfect shots every single time. This game's not about perfect. Mm -hmm. But you got to remind yourself that you can pull off those shots. So a little bit of visualization and a little bit of pre-shot routine and staying consistent with that routine. Just you know, stay patient, and mm -hmm. it'll eventually kind of work its way way in. If you start getting frustrated with yourself, yeah, you're going to get more and more frustrated. Yeah. So you just kind of kind of relax, enjoy. I talked about it being a beautiful day out here. It I think is. it's 75 degrees. There's no wind. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's a little, a little bit cloudy. And we're on the golf course. Yeah. You gotta remind yourself, you could be worse places today. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So well, yeah, that's the, that's the best perspective. We're out golfing, you know, on a day like today especially. So yeah. can't get upset, although I'm very prone to that myself, but it's the one thing you gotta, uh, you know, I think a lot of golfers struggle with, myself included, is kind of, you know, you get that slow start and then it doesn't, it doesn't pick back up because you're so frustrated with it, so. Yep. Yeah, just think about the next shot as opposed to the previous shots, you can't do anything about the past. Mm -hmm. The only thing you can control is the future. So oh, yeah. that's, what I, that's what I got with that. Oh, that could be good. That could be good if it's far enough. That is way right. I do have a gap, 55 yards. Just gonna be hacking it out of here. Wow. Oh, wow. Great shot. For Putton, got a chance. Don't do it to me. <laughs> That's one more revolution away. Easy birdie. Dead in the center again. <sighs> wow. Wow. Is that the match? That's the match. That is probably the match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Thomas, putter didn't cooperate today. Um, we played six holes and this thing's over already. So um, I went four down through six. Obviously, a nine hole match. Can't make that up in three holes. So. Um, Congratulations on the big win. I don't think you even probably feel like you played that well. You just kind of were handed the win, huh? Yeah, a couple <laughs> birdies, a couple bogeys, a couple pars. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's four bogeys for me and two pars, if that math works out. But um, no, that was fun. I think it was interesting because there's a couple holes where there was a, kind of a big advantage with the tees and then a couple holes where it really didn't matter much. But um, anyway, you're back on the track now where, uh, you know, you have the course record. So um, we got a few holes left. We'll play them out. But this was a... Uh, this was a humbling experience for me. Yeah, I think the biggest th takeaway here is we might have, you know, even being up, up on the tees, it doesn't really give you that much of an advantage. Yeah. You still have to get the ball in the hole. You're still mm -hmm. going to take one or two shots to the green on a par four, mm -hmm. one on a par three, or maybe three shots on a par, on a par five. Yeah. So you're still going to get on the green the same amount of shots. It just may have taken you away from your normal comfortable yardages. Yeah. Well, especially if you struggle with short game, it's not going to matter where you tee off from, like yeah. uh, like I found out today. But um, golfers, thank you for watching this. Um, I apologize that you had to see what I was struggling with all day. But uh, if you, you know, enjoy some of our content, again, you can subscribe to our channel, give us a comment, and then a like as well on this video. And we'll have more coming for you. Uh, Thomas, you got me this time. I'm getting you next time, though. All right. Let's see it.